I consider this as my farm. Because I love to grow things. To eat and to some of it I give it away. I'm in here every day in the mornings, 5, 30, 6. Stay out till the sun come out. And then in the afternoon, stay out till about 8 or 9. All this used to be overgrown and garbage all over the place. This was full of overgrown weed trees and weeds. It looked like a jungle. And uh, we were able to clean them up and make it a green space. We grow food, we have livestock, we have events that we're able to do in the space now that we couldn't do eight, over eight years ago. Over here is the, where I put the granite in these two lots. I was trying to buy some of the lots for over 20 years because I was cleaning and taking care of 30 of these lots. And, and all the mayor said is, oh, you did a good job, but ain't nothing I can do for you. Now they want to rent it to me for $25 a lot just to, to maintain the city lot. We've been ignored for years. Certain blocks are owned almost 90% to 95% by the city and they don't board the houses up, they don't take care of the houses, they don't cut the grass in front of the houses, but it also ties into the future development plan. Right now, U.S. Ecology wants to expand tenfold, and we believe that that could harm our soil, our water, and our air in the neighborhood. U.S. Ecology is a hazardous waste treatment facility that's in our neighborhood. They found over 150 violations just since 2010 of the water quality coming from U.S. Ecology. Through the work of Create Ned over the past 18 months, we have learned so much about the amazing neighborhood level grassroots activity all over this district of residents who have been creating spaces, designing spaces in which communities can gather. We have excess land. Now, people have left the community, but a lot of people have stayed, and I think the city should value the voice of the residents and how they can improve, and what could they do with the land that is available. We want the city of Detroit to do to partner with us, whether it be financially or give us opportunity to then own the land and not want just to lease the land. Well, Restore Ned is an organization that was started out of a brainstorm in 2011 to talk about how we could unite our communities on the east side of the city of Detroit. And what we wanted to emphasize is this is a resident-led process, but we combined other neighborhood associations and groups to put together a land use plan for northeast Detroit. This land has been vacant for about 20 years, so we plowed it and tilled it and then planted 11 trees, 50 raspberry plants, rhubarb, and 200 strawberry plants. The houses are boarded up. The ones that we go to, we clean them. The backyards, the front yards, cut the trees, bring them to the front, wait till the city pick them up. This is the field. Also put a community garden in it so we can feed the neighborhood. We got broccoli, red cabbage, green cabbage, kale, collard greens, all the different kinds of lettuces. And once I get everything cleaned out, I'm gonna add more boxes to this um, field. What's up, people? As we were looking for resources to help us move our community forward, we discovered that we wanted to use art to do that, so it became Create Ned. For the past year and a half, Create Ned, or Create Northeast Detroit, has been implementing a grant from Art Place America, which was designed to bring to life some of the visions that District 3 residents had for land use and public art and landscape architecture in their parks and neighborhoods. Public art changes neighborhoods because art is universal. Color, design, impact, it generates pride. People begin to have pride in their neighborhoods. 
The benefits that we have seen uh, out of this 18-month process go back in time to years and years of community organizing and people who believed in the cause of not throwing a neighborhood away, but keeping a neighborhood for all to enjoy. What we need now moving forward is further investment in that grassroots leadership and infrastructure in District 3. With that investment, we can ensure that District 3 remains a place where kids, elders, and everyone in between can thrive.